November 21st. The air carried that icy bite, like drinking cool water after chewing mint gum. Thanksgiving break was just around the corner, the perfect time for trouble. I had a meeting with an informant at 7. They showed at 8. We exchanged interests and went our separate ways. I should have known what I was getting myself into. I had to see for myself what it was all about. It was a dingy joint, the kind where you'd hit your head if you stood too tall. It would have reeked of smoke if campus wasn't smoke-free. I had to play their games to blend in. I spoke to some people there to find whatever dirt I could, but the place was cleaner than the freshly polished bowling balls. I didn't trust any of the schmucks that frequented the joint, so I hung around after hours to see what I might find. Just what I needed. Proof of the club's money laundering. But I didn't stop there. I decided to do some digging at the library, see what the record books could offer. But when I got there, somebody had beaten me to it. He was quick, but I was quicker. I asked who he was. He said, Johnny. Johnny who? Johnny nobody. I told him I was a journalist for the Chronicle and I needed that book for a piece I was writing. It's been checked out, he said. I gave him a look and that's all it took, a look. What do you know? The treasurer of the Cellar Club was none other than Jonathan P. Nobody. The university gives the club a stipend at the beginning of each academic year to help with initial costs and whatnot. As they make that money back throughout the year, the club reimburses the university for its primary investment plus interest until it's paid in full. The remaining cash earned is then put into a separate log, which is then added to the stipend of the following year. So the better the club does this year, the more resources it gets next. But what if the club doesn't make enough to pay the university back? That's the genius part. It's taken out of next year's stipend. How does this help him? He's a senior. He pockets all the cash with no repercussions. Johnny told you all this. He didn't have to. First, I did some research on university club regulations. Then I followed Johnny around. He never went to the accountant's office to deposit the cash. Wait a minute. How do you know there was cash in that envelope? What do you mean? That envelope you saw, how do you know there was cash in it? It has to be the club's monthly earnings, but why else would he be counting it? The answer's no. These are serious accusations with no proof. If we print this, he won't graduate. That's the hope. Look, there's a big event going on tomorrow night. If I can get in, I can expose him for real. I don't know. Don't you trust me? Uh, hi. Hi. You hear a bowl? No. I, I, um, I saw a poster. I thought it looked fun. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What's your name? Um, Johnny. Johnny? Oh, that's 
some place we can go to have some fun. There's some open lanes. Uh, I think I think you knew what I meant. There's a back room. Yeah. I'll meet you there. 